Hi, welcome to Long Arms for Lifelong Learning, sponsored by America Professional Quilting Systems. My name is Tina Collins, and I'm one of the APQS quilting educators. Today I'd like to talk about a meander that I call Echo Lines and Swirls. Now, I love this meander. It's super, super, super simple, so that even beginners can pick it up right off the bat. The main reason I love it, though, is because it's so versatile. If I quilt it large scale, it becomes an all-over quilting design. If I quilt it medium scale, it can be a block, border, or background quilting design. And I can take it all the way down to micro quilting size if I want to. Now, the coolest thing is that once you get comfortable with doing this design, you can begin to incorporate different design elements into it. And that's gonna help you focus the viewer's attention to certain areas of the quilt top. That way you can emphasize the areas that you like and maybe de-emphasize the areas that you don't so much like. Let's go ahead and head over to the design board and we'll get started. All right, on our design board, I've went ahead and I've drawn a square for our quilting area. Well, it's not a real good square, but neither are a lot of the quilt tops I have to quilt. <laughs> to start this design, we're gonna go ahead and draw a random line right in the middle. Just like that. Echo, 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 swirl. Every time I swirl, I'm gonna change the direction of the lines that I'm echoing. Echo, 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 swirl. You can even echo the swirl if you'd like. And echo, 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 swirl. Echo, echo, echo and swirl. Now don't get too hung up on how many times you should echo the lines because really it's just a matter of personal preference and the amount of quilting space that you have to fill. And you'll see that this is super simple. Echo, 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 echo and swirl. And a lot of times I will incorporate my lines into previous lines of stitching. Echo, 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 swirl. Echo and swirl. Now after I've done it for a little bit, I'm gonna stand back and look at the design itself. And I wanna make sure that I don't have too many lines going in the same direction. On this one, I have quite a few lines here on this diagonal, so I think I'm gonna throw in some vertical and some lines on the opposite diagonal to kind of pull away from that. Okay, we'll go back to where we were. And echo, echo, echo and swirl. And echo, echo, echo and swirl. Now, if you are worried that your lines are looking kind of wonky, don't worry a bit, because it is a lot harder to draw on the design board than it is the quilt top, because you don't have anywhere to set your arm. And believe me, once you get it to the quilt top, it's gonna look great. Echo, echo, echo and swirl. All right, let's zoom in. And as you can see, not difficult at all. But yet it still has a really cool overall effect. All right, let's get started adding some design elements into it. Now I'm gonna make just some dots here and I'll explain why in a little bit. Okay, let's start the meander just like we did if we're just doing that as a solo design. So we, any random line in, and then we echo it. Echo, echo, and swirl. Echo, echo, swirl. Echo, echo, 
swirl. Now, I just ran into one of those dots. That means that I need to put a feathered flower in there. What I did was I just picked out areas of this that I wanted to accent. Now, you don't have to do it this way. A lot of times I'll just put dots in just so I have my motifs fairly sp spaced out or maybe I want them to follow a specific line of vision. But regardless, we, we ran up into a dot, so now it's time to put a feathered flower in there. Okay, and I always start my feathered flowers with this little hook thing. There's no reason except that it makes it easier for me to set up the feathers. Okay, feather, 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 and feather. And then I'm just gonna echo around them. And immediately start to echo the meander again. Echo, echo, swirl. Echo, and I've just ran into another one of the little dots that I put on there for reference. So I'm gonna make another feathered flower. Now, I like my feathers going in all different directions, just to bust it up a little bit. So I'm gonna start on this side this time. There's my little hook. And let's make these feathers long. Okay, and echo. And when I echo them around, I usually bump around one, bump the next one, bump back, bump, 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 bump back. Okay, echo, 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 swirl, echo, 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 swirl. All right, you can see how easy this is going. And when we get done, I think you'll be pretty impressed at how it looks for such a simple design. Okay, we finished our echo lines and swirls with the feathered flowers. And you'll see that I put the feathered flowers where I had each one of those dots. Now on a quilt top, you can think about the visual path that you want the viewer to travel. Sometimes I just throw them in haphazardly wherever. It just depends on the type of quilt it is and if there are certain areas that I want to accentuate. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll move in fairly close so you can see that this design is nowhere near perfect, but it still gives a great funky flair to a quilt top. All right, let's move in closer. There's a flower. Okay, and then we'll back out. And there you go. Pretty easy and pretty quick. Now let's take what we've learned over to the long arm quilting machine. Okay, let's go ahead and start quilting this on our fabric. Okay. And echo, 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 swirl. Echo, 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 swirl. Echo, 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 and swirl. Now remember, don't get too hung up on how many times you echo. Doesn't really matter. Just a personal preference. And swirl, echo, 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 and swirl. All right, now I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit and go my regular speed. Okay. And remember, don't get too worried about what one particular part of the design looks like. 
When you look at it as a whole, it can look completely different. And believe me, this is so easy. It always, always comes out looking good. I'm sure you guys have completely got this in your head and you are ready to just go like banshees. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna quit here in just a second and I'll show you what this looks like just exactly as we've quilted it right here. And you'll see that this is one of the easiest meanders and quilt top treatments that you can pick. There's really no way to mess it up. It's just too easy. Here's our finished quilt top that we just sewed out. See, I told you it was easy. Now let's look at some other pictures of quilt tops where I've actually used the Echo Lines and Swirls Meander. I hope you found today's video helpful in learning how to do the Echo Lines and Swirls Meander. If you'd like to be notified each time APQS releases a new video, then subscribe to the APQS Long Arms for Lifelong Learning YouTube channel. I'd also like to personally invite you to join us on Facebook. Now if there's a special technique that you'd like to see us showcase in one of our videos, email me at tina at apqs.com. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.